It's Friday. Do you know where your IT pros are? We don't. It's Patch and Switch. And now, two guys who put men in IT admin. It's Patch and Switch. Slight dig. It's like, I, I don't get that. It's like, how does, does he know how to spell? I think we're the men. <laughs> we're the men in IT admin. Min. The minimal form. <laughs> it's like, do you really want to trust us? With <laughs> you really want to trust us? Well, hey, we're starting 10 minutes late. You know why? Because. I, I, I was doing some from the trenches work. <laughs> we all were. We all were <laughs> doing it. I think if you had a live shot inside this room as we were doing it, you'd yeah. see all of us scrambling around to figure it out. And, it all, you know, the thing that tipped us off, there was a problem. As soon as we hit go the first time, it said DNS error. There's always... Always, it's always on DNS. DNS. It's, it's always, always on DNS. DNS. Uh, but then that led to the uh, inevitable check to physical. Yeah. Which was the um, the Terminator was off on the end of the coaxial 10 base T that we run inside the, the suite And here. the bits were falling They were all falling the off on the floor like a little pool. Yeah. So we found that problem, plugged in the, the Terminator again. I, I found a room to clean up the bits. <laughs> so, <laughs> poor old bits were on the floor. We picked them up, shoved yeah. them back inside the cable with a funnel. <laughs> <laughs> and then and finally, good. and finally, then it turned out to also be on top of that uh, a little bit of a um, fat fingering, perhaps, of a character being incorrect on no, the streaming key. It's the fact that the uh, Facebook's page uses a sans serif font, and sans I, serif. Uh, I thought an I, oh, yeah. a capital I, was, was actually an a lowercase. Oh, I, I hate that. I hate yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Got a 50, Times 50. New Roman. It's got to be Times New Roman. Comic Sans, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Comic Sans works as well. So, first of all, this taco little bit salad. A little bit of a shocker. Favorite. Like you're actually in the country. <laughs> I know. Right? Um, you know, uh, we're actually sure in the same a, room. Uh, can you make sure that's not a hologram? I know I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a holographic a projection. <laughs> um, we found a new room to do this in. Yeah. I like uh, it. It's, I like what you've done with the place. It's completely, it's, it's absolutely not me. The, 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 the gnomes in Channel 9 have gone ahead and they've actually decorated the room. They, I'm glad to see that they didn't take any of our recommendations that we made. <laughs> <for the room. laughs> right, exactly. We're, we were looking for a wet bar on the wall over there. That didn't yeah. happen. No, that didn't happen. Uh, kegerator. Coffee dispenser over here and a kegerator up there for some reason next to um, the sound guy. And it didn't happen to happen Steve, either. The sound Steve, guy. the sound guy. I didn't want to call you Steve today. That's Jared. Jared, Mr. Shockley, Jay Shock, on the on the sound. What happened to the intern? The intern left because <laughs> it's been so long since we've had a show. They've graduated from university. <laughs> okay, good, fair enough. <laughs> they uh, now got a doctorate. They have a doctorate now. <laughs> just a doctorate in IT management. Uh, just so you know, you've been called out on your ten base. Uh, by Pierre, he says it's ten base two. You call oh, yourself yeah. an IT pro. Uh, oh. oh, oh. I'm trying to come up with these witticisms oh, oh. on the fly. It's hard, man. I gave up caffeine two weeks ago. I'm drinking grass clippings in water right now. You know, so, you know, tea has caffeine. Not this one. This is oh, caffeine it's decaf. It's a decaf caffeine. Why would you? I'm purpose. drinking decaf coffee. I'm I'm not, I'm less angry now that I'm off caffeine. I don't have these really? rage. I don't have these uncontrollable bursts of rage anymore. So you you now say sorry more. <laughs> I say sorry. More. <laughs> he apologizes a lot more. No, I say I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Really, really sorry. sorry. Uh, that's funny. Uh, so we gonna, we're gonna have to compress the show, man. I got a ten o'clock. I gotta go to now. Oh, do you really? Yeah, like you know, I, we've got we got to let's go, let's go. Okay. Uh, so we <laughs> should start with the program. It is is well? Is anybody in the room? Is anyone talking with us besides us? <laughs> no. Is, is anyone because we were ten minutes late? Is anyone actually in the Facebooks? Yeah, actually, uh, Tiago's here. Say hello, Tiago. Uh, right on. Pierre Roman, uh, Vizio MVP guy, is here as usual. He, uh, Harold, he's a very dedicated fan. I want to call him out. Absolutely. He, he calls us out when we don't have a show. <laughs> when we don't show up. <laughs> so we're calling him out as being a dedicated fan. When I'm fan. stuck at London Heathrow yes. for five and a half hours. By the way, they pay you for that, just so you know. Uh, let's Un see. Unlimited ramen. <laughs> at Wagamama. <laughs> at Wagamama. As long as my Amex has a room. Yeah. Uh, Harold's here. Uh, Steve Enz is here. Uh, the, the, our good friend Jay Flo in the house. Oh, nice. Uh, Tyler Kolstra is in the house as well. Frederick, Bork, Bork, Bork. He's on the same page as Satya uh, as he is a featured, speecher, uh, featured speaker, easy for oh. me to say, at the Microsoft Ignites. Congrats. Congrats. 
Did I say Steve Enns is here? Yeah, but if not, I did. Uh, and Colleen is here when she should be doing something. Yeah, come on. She's what is she slacking? I don't know. She doesn't report to me anymore. What, so. does, what, what does she actually she do? Does yeah, what does she do? So she runs the um, Azure Active Directory webinars. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Nice. So good for she, her. We could hire her to produce these. She runs webinars. This is like a webinar. But see, here's the thing: we have to actually pay. Okay, no, that's not going to work. <laughs> wait, you're not. Wait, what? That won't work. No, no, we're not taking your salary away. You're good. <laughs> yeah. Just so long as you don't start pressuring us to be able to get the Seattle minimum wage. Like can't afford like it. Like Steve did. <laughs> yes, can't like afford Steve. it. Can't afford it. Mark Fleming's in the house as well. Nice. Uh, as is Jay Shock. And you are. Oh, Chuck's here. You are. Say hello, Chuck. Hello, Chuck. Uh, J Chuck. Uh, Chuck Cocker and Chuck Richards. Wow. Yeah. All these new people. Uh, <laughs> thank you for joining <laughs> the Insanity. That's Joey Snow. Rick Claus, just in case you're a first timer, you don't know. Patch and switch. Patch and switch or switch and patch. We don't know which one it is. Hi, Rick. There we go. <laughs> there we go. I have no idea what page. Uh, Chuck says, not only are you 10 minutes late, but it looks like you went back in history. <laughs> As you yeah. can see the... Uh... Yeah, so we're, we're, throughout the show, I think people need to kind of call out their favorite box they see behind them. Joey was telling me a story of uh, when he first worked with Exchange 2000. Which he yep. has a box back here. <laughs> yep. So re recount that one quickly. Just what was unique about the, the oh, version so, you had? Yeah, yeah. So the version that we had uh, was was given to me on a burned CD-ROM, and I had Xerox. Did it? Did it fit inside the tray that you had to put it? Oh no no no! It just <laughs> no. It, well yeah. It was, we had to we had to find a, <laughs> had to find a, a server with a CD-ROM CD <laughs> drive. Yeah. Uh, actually, oh no! You know what? That wasn't Exchange two thousand. That was Exchange five. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah, so that was the we did the migration from MS Mail five or five, three five. Dot, no five. Oh wow! So we did the the migration from MS Mail three dot two, which was running on a two eighty six. I didn't think anyone ran five. Uh, that sat at the back of the in the in the back of um uh of my manager's office. <laughs> uh, we we upgraded to a three eighty six uh to run Exchange five, and they had these connectors that you had to use to talk to MS Mail servers. And yeah, stuff. everything and. Um, I, I remember, mail drop yeah, system, I remember just getting the CD and I'm like, why isn't it? You know, cause very few CDs at the time and, and let alone one that wasn't printed. Like somebody had marked on Sharpie on the top of it. Right. <laughs> some, I'm like, what some, is some this? intern up in Redmond? Yeah. Some intern in Redmond. And then <laughs> and the, the pre-release documentation, uh, and it, and, and every page, had wait, wait, it watermark. wasn't in markdown on a website. Oh, Come no, on, no. man. Every page had the watermark from word on it that said pre-release. <laughs> right. So we're reading through this stuff Draft. and I'm like, is this exactly right? <laughs> Like, is this really how I'm supposed to do this installation? Nice. And 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 uh, ended up uh, everything got everything was fine getting the main server up and running, but it was getting connected back to the because um, we did work for Microsoft at the time. Right. Uh, uh, this is a call center and um, getting it connected to the Exchange connector here so that we could send mail back to to Redmond. Mm -hmm. um, and I ended up, I ended up I, I'm like, I don't know who to call about this because <laughs> this product isn't even really out yet. There's no support. Uh, right. Hello, How come Bill? this isn't working? Bill. Is there, is Bill. So there were yeah. several late nights as I tried to get it working, but wow. eventually it happened. Pierre Roman is uh, suggesting a 386 with a turbo switch. Uh, they, we actually did have to engage the turbo switch when we installed Exchange. <laughs> <laughs> Speeds it up just a little bit. More power. It really just makes the span. The fans uh, Chuck has been calling out the uh, the eight inch uh, floppy disk up above the verbatim okay. floppy disk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a virtual PC up there. We could sit and look. Oh, at is there really it's virtual PC? Oh yeah, it's a little oh, shrink for the wrap, Mac. Right? Yeah. Ah, that's virtual awesome. PC. I love so, the studio. We and and uh, is there something? So I w I'm going to ask. We're supposed to bring things to help personalize it for the right. show. Are there things that um, our fantastic audience out there would like to see? that maybe we could find uh, in, in our own archives oh, yeah. or the archives already, themselves. We've already got one request, yeah. a Vizio box. Of course. Of, of course. <sighs> I think we need to find a Vizio box just for I John. Do. He is yeah. he is the MVP there, yeah. of the Patch and Switch show. Yep. We yeah. should put that on his business cards. John, is that an official John award? Vizio guy. The unofficial. <laughs> the unofficial MVP of Patch and Switch. It happens to be so, there. Uh, I remember uh, upgrading from MS Mail to Exchange 5 X.500 email addresses. Yes, Andy, that was mm. my own personal... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nightmare. Nightmare. Uh, Steve says 5.5 was a great update, which it indeed was. In fact, Exchange 5.5 probably is still running in somebody's organization today. Probably. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't doubt Extended support contract. You know, and, <laughs> and you know what? <laughs> really I excited. bet. I bet if we find the person running Exchange 5.5, he's going to be asking, can this be run on Azure, please? <laughs> <laughs> uh, see, I, I, knew Pierre, I knew Pierre was going to go there. Yeah. The MS Bob. 
That's we've already talked about. Yeah, the Bob. we've already talked about Bob. <laughs> we're, tr- we're working our sources right we're, now. We're trying to find the Bob box. Working our sources. Uh, Bad. Yeah, I. Fox Pro. We need to find a Fox Pro box or an Access. Oh, Fox Pro, baby. Uh, did did there, you ever use Fox Pro? It's a VB box outside. Yeah, I saw the big VB box. There's also one up. Oh, there's the the Visual Basic one that's up there. In Visual Studio. Yeah. It's, Emmy, we need some. We need oh, some Emmy Emmy up up there. There. Emmy. We need some mood music playing that uh, while this is going on. It's <laughs> nostalgia music. Like, nostalgia. What was the greatest Should hits of uh, 1992? <laughs> <laughs> 1992 soundtrack here. Today. Uh, so we've completely sidetracked on yeah. our, our our brand new set. But uh, if you've got if you've got ideas, uh, let us know via Twitter at Patch and Switch. Of course, here on the Facebook Facebook dot com slash Patch and Switch. If if you would like to donate anything. To it. Um, don't send it to us. Uh, Steve is asking if there's an MS DOS <laughs> box and there is not. Not yet, no. no. Not so yet. Something, think, something we should look into. I think we need like one of the old football or baseball games that we used to put out. That would work. So uh, there is a Windows NT workstation box up there. I don't yeah, know if you can good. see it up there. And you, right oh, next to the oh, Windows oh, ME. I got it. Oh my God, I, we I do go have perfect. an ME box. Right, right up there next to the eight and a half inch disc, we need 31 floppy disks. Oh, the three and a half inch three and a half inch was. 31 Stacko three disc. and a half inch disks to be able to do the install. To do the, it was that for, for Windows 95, yeah? <laughs> 98, SE. Uh, 98, there, there was 98, 98, or was that 12? I forget the numbers, it just goes back. 98, SE still it, had 36 was disks. Nah, it was an office back Didn't then. Didn't NT4 have three and a half inch disks too? I think you're right. That's where it's coming from. Uh, so Steve, Steve suggests Flight Simulator, which is actually right behind me. It's actually just over your shoulder there, buddy. Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's Flight Sim X. And if we really want IT pros that supported IIS to Twitch, we could get a new camera angle and get the front page over there. Oh, no. (laughs) No. IIS extensions? No. Thank you. The uh, Reddit front page extensions. There is is one three and a half uh, in the corner over there, and a five and a five and a quarter. Floppy disk. Yeah, the Microsoft, uh, uh, the SDK. Uh, uh, John, absolutely. Surely in Carta. (laughs) <laughs> I think Encarta kind of it, it kind of encapsulates what this show is. Exactly. Big repository of useless information. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> we think we think all do uh, alike. Uh, hey, so what's been happening in your world, buddy? You, last last time I was here, you were not. Uh, nope. Last time I was here, you were not as well. So last time you were here and I was not. I think I was in San Francisco. Yeah. Uh, doing a customer visit. Oh, fun. Um, On a Friday? I was coming back from San Francisco. Oh, you were in maybe? Dallas. I remember oh. you were in Dallas, Dallas because we were talking because... Barbecue. We were talking bar- barbecue. Was, oh, my gosh. Has it been that long? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Two weeks. So he... <laughs> well, four. So we missed last show. Okay, so oh, I, oh, that, right. that one there, I was doing... A, again, I was doing another customer visit for the stuff that I've been working on in the past and still will follow me to my grave. Uh, and... <laughs> this is what you were talking about last night. <laughs> so... Uh, I was in Dallas meeting a customer uh, with a whole whack of other uh, people and partners and stuff like that. And normally I'm traveling with this guy over here. And then he always knows, we always have like that half an hour conversation Where while, we're in the, while we're in the Uber or while we're, we're you know, coming out of the hotel and to f- go to the customer site to figure out where we're gonna eat. And so I'm like, okay, <laughs> Texas, we gotta figure out where I can get barbecue. This is Dallas, there's gotta be barbecue around here somewhere. Instantly give him, there, a, give him was, an eye message. I think w- you were in the UK. Like you were somewhere else at the time. You weren't in, back in Redmond. No, nah, I, I, I was probably in the – well, I was on my way back because I actually did the show that week. So, okay, so you're on your yeah. way back. I was in an airport somewhere. Yeah. So anyway, I texted him. I'm like, where do you get barbecue? Here's where I'm at. And then he comes back and not even five minutes. <laughs> do you have okay, a car? Here you go. <laughs> do, you do you have, have a car? car? Here we go. This is when you got to go to. He never steers me wrong. So we went to this place. I don't remember the name of it was. Um, I can find it again, of course. But it literally had one of those outside walk-in queue areas, like you're going up to the teller at the bank or something like that. You had to line up to get in. There was like an hour and a half left before the doors closed. They had the uh, their entire cook and smoking area was outside, yep. covered over with uh, with stuff. All the open charcoal pits. And they basically just said, okay, you point to what you want to eat, and I put it on your plate. <laughs> That's all you do. And then they weigh the plate. Nom, nom, so nom, nom, I want some pulled pork. I want some ribs. I want some chicken. I want some kind of jalapeno stuck, uh, stuffed um, chicken things. I have no idea what they were. And it was all good. $37 worth of meat. Yeah. <laughs> I finished it all and I was still digesting two days later. I would imagine you had the meat sweats but on the way home. But it was good. Had, had the meat sweats on the way home. So, yeah, that's where I was. I was down in, in talking to a customer. 
Uh, it was good. It was a good call. Good chat with them. Good. Um, and I had the, I was talking about San Francisco because I had done one in San Francisco as well. Uh, and then the one in San Francisco started at 9 a.m. I actually had to do a call with the U.K., at 4 a.m. <laughs> so I had, Isn't a, that fun? I had a customer meeting from 4 a.m. to 7 a.m. I had an hour to get changed and showered and then get on the subway BART or whatever it's called. In San Francisco, yeah. It's, BART. it's yep. the BART. BART. Yep. To BART. jump over a stop and then walk down the ways to uh, get this other customer. So it was, I've been doing some travels, but not as much an extensive and exotic as you have <laughs> been doing travels, my friend. Yeah, it's, it's been a little crazy. As, I just came back from Paris. Oh, oui, oui. C'est bon? Uh huh. Bonjour. Uh, I, I, I found, I found my vice, which is federal. <laughs> so Ex- explain this. Look, dessert. I had, I, I went to, to, I went to Paris with an open mind because my, the last time I had gone to Paris, I did not have a great experience. Uh, so this time went with an open mind, uh, when the first night we were there, went to dinner, uh, with my boss who is from Paris. He's French. Uh, Frank. Uh, Frank, yeah. So we had some. Uh, we we we. I tried some various things. So I tried escargot, which was that was good. <laughs> um, I tried uh, what I, I I can't ever remember it. The, it's the the the, <coughs> the pate um, foie gras. Yeah, foie gras. Not a fan. I did try smoked goose. Uh, there was a smoked goose mousse. <laughs> Not the kind of mousse that you're used to from Canada. <laughs> Uh, I don't think I'd want to smoke a moose that, that, that they that they served on a on a crusty bread that was pretty good. Uh, but but moose but can get pretty crusty. The dessert <laughs> that's true. The dessert was was profiteroles, which is essentially it's a puffed pastry that they slice in half and they put a big old scoop of ice cream in it. They put three of those in a in a in a shallow shallow dish, shower. in a shallow dish, and they pour this chocolate sauce over the top which is not like any chocolate syrup that you ever get in the united states it is this it's real chocolate well it's real chocolate it's, it's not lighter plastic based it, it it's 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 got it's it's a lot lighter in 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 its they, consistency they whip it with air and i kind of wanted to crawl into the bowl and just get the spoon and just you know start pouring it <laughs> it's an image i do uh, not about need about every night i found <laughs> every restaurant i went to if i'm like do they have profiteroles okay good i'm good we can eat here that's good it was uh it was fantastic yeah Loved, loved every bit of it. Um, did enjoy the city. Went, went to a fabulous Italian place that was, <laughs> as we're walking to the restaurant, I mean, and this is fairly typical, right? You, you, you're having conversations, walking with several of our partners, right. taking in the dinner, and, and I just have the, 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 the app on my phone that says, okay, you go to this street, and then you turn, and then you just go straight, and then it'll tell me again when I have to turn. So we're just going straight. I'm not really paying attention to everything around and where we're going. And plus you're in the city. So the, you know, buildings are a couple stories tall. So walking in then says, Oh, turn right here. So we turn right and all of a sudden bang right there, <laughs> the Eiffel tower. Boom. Just, yeah, it was, it was less than a five minute walk from the restaurant we were at. We were just in the shadow there. It was a fantastic, I posted a picture of it, uh, on, on, on the social medias. Nice. Uh, so yeah, there was that. Um, yeah, that's my latest travels. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do when you travel? I'm not sure. Like, no, do you actually uh, work or just eat profiteroles? <laughs> I just eat profiterol. Uh, so what we do is we've been training our partners on Azure Active Directory Premium. You're training people? Uh, imagine that. I actually <laughs> might know something about our product. Uh, I actually run the events um, and do a lot of, a, a lot of partner schmoozing because that's my job. And uh, okay. get, them, get them all uh, up to speed on Azure Active Directory Premium, B2C, B2B, external identities, uh, provisioning. Yeah, and then the, the the Paris event was Dev, so it was around Graph and and the 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 provisioning stuff, ADAL libraries. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's busy, busy, busy lad. You're doing work. A busy lad. Uh, I got to give a shout out to Crystal because uh, uh, Super Crystal has joined because I think she's homebound. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm hungry now. <laughs> French food. Any, uh, the dessert specifically. Dessert. We I talked about it last dessert. night. I, I think I gained forty pounds. Nice. We talked about it last night, and I've been just like drooling over this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. We, we we had definitely had a, a scheduling snafu because uh, our good friend Mr. Bender was in town. Mm-hmm. He started a new role, and uh, he uh, left this morning. He's probably on a flight right now, somewhere over Montana or something like that, to head back good out spot east. To be. Uh, out east. 
So I was headed headed back to the Wisconsin's. The Wisconsin's. Um, I so still, can I, we talk one, one of these one of these days? I need to figure out what uh, where that geographically is on the map because I have no clue where Wisconsin where, is. Where Wisconsin it's is? It's near it's near Illinois. So I don't even know where Illinois it's, is. It's north of Illinois, east of uh, Minnesota, south and west of Michigan. So. I know where I know where Michigan is. You know where Lake Michigan is? I know where Lake Michigan is. I know where it, Michigan is. It it's, is it's the, the western side, shoreline the of okay. Lake Michigan. So it's it, Minnesota has where, where, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. I mean, Wisconsin has lakefront. Like it has. Yes. Like it's on the Milwaukee's lake. on the lake. Okay. Milwaukee. Milwaukee. I was supposed to go to Milwaukee. Milwaukee. But uh, my my trip got canceled. Nice. Oh. Fun stuff, um, man. Fun stuff. Can we talk about why you were moving your office on a weekend? No. On a holiday weekend? Of course not. We can't? Why were you moving your office? Because they didn't have an office mover schedule slot available. Ah. Uh, and because I've moved so many times at Microsoft, I'm like... Was everything already I've boxed got, up? It was. I never bothered to unbox it? anything. So basically, I was just packing my machines up, unplugging yeah. them throwing the cables on top of one of the boxes, and then just simply huffing them into my Jeep. I actually went to Harbor Freight, and I bought one of those... Um, hardwood uh, roller caster thingies. Oh, the dollies. The dollies. Yeah, they're so um, awesome. And I just, it's like, what, eight bucks? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, well, did you use your 50% off coupon? No, I didn't. Oh, I use I those have, for big can, purchases, man. Can, like, can you, they, can I borrow they that? They have one every <laughs> sure. If you want to borrow the dolly, it's in my garage. Yeah, I, uh, I need to uh, move a cabinet in my house. So yeah. that, oh, it's got a good thousand Actually, pound if you want to come over and help it. me move the cabinet. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and there's the truth. There's the truth. Here you go. Come on down. I got beer. Nice. I got scotch. Ah, uh, see, that's good. I can't eat or drink any of that because I'm having sticks and water right now. Who put you up to this? I, I, I need to take responsibility of this aging temple. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and with that, that this, comes to the conclusion of right. another exciting episode. <laughs> I guess I should probably not say temple. I should say tavern. Really, <laughs> this aging tavern. I would, I would probably call it a grotto. A grotto. A grotto. A grotto. I like that one. Oh my! Uh, so, can we talk about why you were moving? Please? No, I can't. No, we can't talk about that until next week. But, but I need to have the suspense in place. The okay. moving, you. I moved my own. I want. I want to know how you got your office down to two boxes. Oh, because I just purged everything, man. Like I literally. So, do you not have like a whole ton of cables around anymore? I still that's one, still of one of my boxes. That's one of the boxes. Cables. One okay. of my boxes, one of the boxes, is boxes is of cables. cables. Okay. Uh, but it has cables, a subwoofer, and two speakers that I can't use anymore because I'm inside a common office space, uh, and a couple of other. No, 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 no. Hold on a second. Stuff. You're not in a common office space. Hey, I have a, You're in a I have an office buddy. Office. A shared office. I have an office. Buddy. I'm in a common office space. Yeah. <laughs> um, but my common office space mate. Uh, Your shared office. My mate. shared office office space mate is um, uh, not there. She. Um, so she is it she, really she chooses office? to basically work from home, but then come in when she needs to, which is kind of nice. Yeah, uh, for being flexible that way. And so I just, for instance, Bender was here, and I'm like, just, well, I've got a spare desk. If you wanted to come and just crash in my area, come on out. So I made sure that she was cool with that. She was awesome. So um, he was hanging out. No, oh, excellent. Uh, Pierre says aging temple equals crumbling shack. Nice. <laughs> yeah. All right, you know, I could, he knows this one. I could be like a sugar shack. A, sugar <laughs> a, a, a decaying sugar shack at the side of the road <laughs> in Backwoods, Quebec. <laughs> Serving maple syrup and pancakes. And, oh, uh, I and, like pancakes. And uh, Ore de Christ. Those are good. Okay. You have to figure out what that is. Oh, all right. Uh, so that's kind of what we've been doing. Yeah, so moving offices, setting up a new machine. Uh, someone commented. Oh, did you set up a new machine? So I actually have one of the new Surface Book 2 15-inch monitor um, nice screen kind of things that kind of nice. You have I, the how, Surface Book too. How do you how do you um, how do you get video out of it? Is it the USB C connection? Yes, That's the video out. Yes, yes. So I got to buy all new dongles. Yes. yes. <sighs> that just sucks. Seriously, yeah. <laughs> I just bought new ones for this thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, That's I got to right. buy some more dongles. Okay. Apparently. It's probably can't have enough dongles. Can't, can't have enough out. dongles ever. You always have more. Uh, so it's it's literally still it still smells of the the uh, the depot that it came from. Yeah, uh, it's got that new Surface Book smell. <laughs> new Surface Book smell. And it's, it's it's like new car smell, but not really. Right. Yeah. And uh, I need to still get all now the l l laborious task of tracking down all the software that I like to have on it to be able to be functional. I I just rebuilt my desktop this same, week. Same same thing. Yeah. And so, it's it's been hell because when I rebuilt it, it joined Azure AD. Yeah. 
and there's about a third of the services that don't work via Azure AD. Oh. You have to be connected to uh, the internal domain. And yeah. so I had already gotten everything set up, switched it to the Redmond domain, blew away my user profile, had to build a new one. It's like, Arr. so I had to reinstall everything. So here's a conundrum. Uh, maybe some yes. Windows folks could answer this one for me. Okay. Um, service book, auto provisions, you sign on the first time. Uh-huh. You just go in. It warns you if you don't have networking connectivity, you might have issues with the setup for being able to do a domain join. Right. Uh, with part of our automation scripts that right. goes through to, to do our setups. It mm-hmm. comes like that from the factory. Um, I thought I had the network connection because I had it plugged into the docking station and the little uh, connector was on for the, for the networking connection. All was looking great, except I come back, it's not domain joined. I look a little bit further, and of course, it was jiggle the cable. The power wasn't plugged into the back of the power, the docking station oh, to be able to give me my network connection that made it so I couldn't do it. So right. I have an administrator account. It's a local administrator account. I can okay. sign on. It all works. I do a workplace join or, or a, uh, what's it called these Azure days? Azure AD join. Azure AD join. Thank you. Is that your product? No. no it's not. Anyway, Azure AD join to be able to um, get the machine happy. The machine's now happy. There's no way to add my corp account to it. I can't yeah, say is. log in others. I yeah, can't, can't say add an account because it won't let me add it. You go to the classic computer management screen and add a user to the administrators group. No, but you can't add. Yes, you can. You, I, I tried. You, you yes, can you only can. create a new account. You're using the new interface, right? Yeah. You use the classic interface. But the classic interface, because I went there, I can definitely see the administrator account, I can see the administrator group, and I can see other things, but I can't add a new account yes, you into can. it. I will go and help you. Okay, no, well, it's sort of too late, because I did a traditional join instead. Okay. So you joined it to the domain one. instead? I did the old-fashioned join. Actually, there's well, several resources. Well, then you resources. could just go and connect to Azure AD now as well. And... It's already connected to Azure oh, AD. Oh, okay, well, there you go. Did you not want to join to the actual domain? No. I okay. Just Azure AD. So joined. just wipe the machine and do it over again yeah. and do it right. <laughs> or you can you can well uh, you Never could mind. just you could just unjoin. I guess that's the word unjoin. Go work group. Uh, just but but <laughs> but all of the policies and stuff have applied and everything like right. that. So if you want to if you want to clean just just do a do and and because it's a brand new surface, all you have to do is just go. Ooh, I do the do reset. restore. Yeah. Reset. Ooh. Just do the reset. How far do I go down that path before I decide it's not? How like much this? have you actually installed it's on this machine? You probably spent a total of ten yeah. minutes on it. No, I've been more. It's been most of okay, my day. Okay, twenty. Fifteen. It's been most oh. of my day. So okay. you've managed to install Office. <laughs> <laughs> no, it comes with the image at least. Um, it's a did. It's, oh wait, did you use the MSIT image? Yeah, that's an MSI installer. I would uninstall and get it from Office three six five. Yeah, no, I totally because it's not up to date. Exactly. Yeah, so I'm. Uh, just start. Maybe over. I will. F- <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just start over. Chuck says disk part. So I, I know. I know what uh, <laughs> disk part. Nice, Chuck. I know what my Good story call. is next week. <laughs> next time we talk. So, yes, did you fix your computer or not? <laughs> that could work. I, I'm running. Uh, I'm running one of the uh, X1 Yoga V2. Oh. The, the Gen Gen Two. Oh, that's, neat. That's what I've got. Now. The laptop that does downward dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, the um, oh, I, yeah, I had yoga. A, I had a good uh, conversation with my team. They they come by my desk and they go, "How many computers do you actually have on your desk?" And I'm like, "I got five. Why? Because he can. Because I <laughs> one because I can. But um, I took my old Surface Pro three that the Wi-Fi card fried on. Yeah. And I had this kind of cool dock that go that go that locks into the side on the Surface Surface Pro threes. Yep. And it has a Ethernet. So I plug it in. I took the uh, cover off. And I use it, like I'm on call this week, I have all of our dashboards scrolling through on a... Right, yeah. Front. So I have like a little kiosk in front of me showing me all the statuses of all of our apps and it rotates through every 30 seconds. Nice. And it just sits there and they're like, and I've had a couple of people on my team kind of come over and look and they're like, is that what you use that for? I'm like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, that's kind of cool. Nice. So, <laughs> yeah, I was, I was going to get... So at the time they just announced the Surface Two at the time of my refresh, and I basically it was basically like you have now to decide what you want. You have uh, thirty or, seconds. Or go. You're not getting anything, <laughs> uh, and and so I, I decided to go with the next one. And I I going back to an actual laptop has been has been handy for me. Yep. Though I'm still trying to figure out every possible way to go lighter and lighter. So I am reviving <laughs> I am reviving the Surface. Yep. Um, just to you know, my old Surface Pro three, just to kind of get it 
back up and running and uh, may even take some trips uh, as I'm doing some more domestic flying and, and just go with essentially – a, 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 the smallest bag that I can possibly carry. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm just, yeah. I'm over carrying everything. I, I was kind of shocked uh, no. for our uh, uh, privileged access workstations. We've been using these uh, Lenovo X1 Carbons. Yeah. The saw? The, uh, the saw. The we saw. call them saws internally, but uh, externally they're called paws. That's why I always try and use the external name. Anyway. Paws? Yeah. If you go P-A-W-S? out to all of our, Yeah. PAWs. Privileged access workstations. Okay. So uh, they're actually talking about now making our privileged access workstations um, uh, lap, uh, Surface laptops, the really super light ones. Oh, oh yeah. the new With Surface. The carpet. The, yeah. yeah. I'm like, With the carpet. Oh, my God. That would be. And yet the, the Carbon X ones are pretty light, mm. but one yeah. of the guys on the team got one of the new Surface laptops. Yeah. It's so much lighter than the car- Carbon. I'm like, what the heck? Yep. Yeah. Screen is smaller though, but it's a two, two, uh, three by two screen instead of the sixteen nine. Yeah. On the Lenovo, I don't. I love the three two. I have to agree with Paul Throat there. I like the three two ratio s- ratio on the screens. Yeah. I don't know. I just don't like the wide screens. Well, my my. At least on a laptop. Have you random spent lately? Are we oh jumping God. all over our yeah? Our normal? We forgot beer talk, or we also forgot oh, we beer money. There yet. What about beer money? We haven't got there yet. So we're doing well, random spend now. Well, beer money wasn't that just beer? Well, uh, I mean, have you done any beer money? I've not been home. I've been done. I've, I did beer money for Channel Nine. We oh, did. Yeah? We did beer money just here. Yeah, Channel yeah. Nine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we did. Channel Nine. Golnaz. Golnaz. We fixed this room. We fixed once the again. network again. Take note. Um, <laughs> <laughs> But uh, in other they, words, let us show, let us do the show next year. <laughs> yes, please. Yeah, we, we're please. we're coming up to the Channel Nine Idol, where we have to basically fight. Thirty-two shows enter the room, fifteen leave. <laughs> right, um, and yet we, we're still on the air. It, we're still on the air. <laughs> uh, we did uh, we did the the networking redesign for these guys a while ago, and yeah. helped them out there, and that was a lot of fun. Uh, they uh, ordered a whack of parts to be able to build new PCs for doing edits, uh, editing. Yeah, I saw the parts out it's, there. Have you so been helping build PCs? I've been a consultant. Have I come in, consulting? I kind of drinking my coffee, and I I uh, wave around my hand to pretend something important, stuff like that. We have something marked as Studio CPC. Right uh, I'm going to get to that in just okay. a minute. It's going to get to that in a minute. So can you get to it now, please? No, you have to wait. <laughs> Uh, so the uh, the whole purpose is basically the editing workstations were definitely long in the tooth. They're taking too long to be able to render the files and do stuff. Uh, so the 10 gig network upgrade was one of the upgrades. The other one is the machines. But uh, they spec'd out these really cool uh, gaming rigs yeah. that have uh, water coolers in them that also, that's like a radiator at the front that has spinning Whoa. LED fans in them that are totally controllable. <laughs> So awesome. Uh, but then it has two NVMe drives inside of it. One uh, 256 NVMe uh, 960 from, um, uh, to, to do the OS. Yeah. And then one terabyte NVMe drive. Uh, and the idea is that there's a 10 gig network to pull down the files for the show they're editing, do all the editing on the NVMe drive super, super fast, render the show, and then dump the files back up again. Uh, or just delete them off the local box because they're already up on the server, uh, and then just simply put the rendered file up there. So trying to find all the drivers brings me back to the day. It's been a while since I built a PC, man. Going back to the motherboard website, trying to find the drivers, <laughs> which ones are there, and how to you know flash the BIOS and that sort of stuff. So uh, they now have two of them up and running. i got to check after the show if they're actually running or not because they're in the middle of downloading all the files. So the reason why I'm talking about this and the reason why potentially that was unplugged today because uh, it was the TriCaster that was unplugged from a network and then the, the password issue, is they're lightening the load for all this stuff here so that it's similar to what they have in Station B next door, the small room, where it is a PC with OBS on it as opposed to a huge, massive TriCaster that causes failures and issues uh, oh. to be able to do it. Well, with OBS, we can stream to other, other sources too. You can yeah? stream other sources. We can make little windows to make them all happy. And, and, yeah. and mo- the most important oh, yeah. part is there is new software for... Jared to learn to make sure that it works. Yeah. Yay! Nice. So well, that, that's if, if he doesn't want to, it's go. it's there because so that, after this show at ten oh one, the door is going to open and they're coming in to rip the, this out. And the, and ah. They're repossessing the TriCaster. They're going to repossess the TriCaster. They're going to so, try to sell it on eBay, I think, to make some money back on it. 
<laughs> I don't know if they're going to get anything for it. Dollar four eighty. Dollar dollar four eighty instead of supposed to three eighty. Yeah. Uh, opening it. bids. I can't afford it. Act now. The patch and switch TriCaster going on sale. <laughs> <laughs> We're fundraising Order now. We're going to donate all money to the uh, Moose Rescue League to make sure that moose everywhere will Our always rooms. have a home. <laughs> what about the squirrels? Squirrels are extra. <laughs> squirrels. <laughs> Uh, we'll, we'll auction off the the, the new tech um, control board for the squirrels. So are we gonna are we gonna test this thing before we, we try to do a show next <laughs> time? No, or? no, oh, we're okay. just gonna show up and then we'll do it live. It works. <laughs> we're doing it live. <laughs> the, the next show in two weeks is gonna be us hanging on to a cell phone at uh, arm's length, trying to be able to get in the frame. <laughs> hey, welcome to Facebook Live, everyone. Steve will hold it. I've got, got a pretty good angle there we go. over here. <laughs> nice angle. It, Jared, your arms are getting tired. Lift them up again. Lift yeah. them up again. Why, why is the video of the floor? Jared's arms are tired. Nice. Jared fell asleep. So so it's been network upgrades. It's been PC <laughs> upgrades to be able to do stuff. It's been nice. troubleshooting the old TriCasters uh, as well. And then obviously I had nothing to do with any of this. Uh, this was all. This is gorgeous. This is going yeah. No, this I, I is remember amazing. a couple of months ago they came in and asked for suggestions from yeah. us, which I thought was awesome. Yeah, that yeah. they asked us, uh, and then this is what they came up with for their concept. So oh, that's brilliant. This the is, the, the one thing that's still missing from this room, what you the, guys, I don't know if you can hear this online, is it's just there's the uh, echo. So they haven't hung the drapery up above to be able to cancel out some of the echo that's happening. Yeah. So it's a. Yeah. Uh, you know, exposed I, I don't know that it gets picked up too much like on the, the audio. The mics, uh, I mean, we've got pretty good, uh, I think, partially. But then we could, like, sit back here and talk without having to be right in the mic. Oh, that's right? true. But that's true. You but guys can't hear me when I do that anyway. Yeah. Eh, it depends on the – I mean, eh, well, do we want to make the mics that sensitive? I don't know. Because then you might pick up other noises. Could. Like slurps. Slurps. Coffee. <laughs> slurps. Coughs. Coffee. Coughs. Coffee. coffee. Slurps. Coffee. Breathing. We say coffee? All coffee. that fun stuff. No, that sounds, that, that's awesome. So I'm thinking about, uh, do I have time? <laughs> this show's so random. No, anyway. it's, it doesn't, it doesn't today's really a bad representation of how tight we run this episode. So go ahead. We still I'm got sorry, a few minutes. Is, 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 is it any, ever do, tight do, at all? No. I don't know. Oh, only when we have to do it on a stage. And exactly. We are required to, to get from guest to guest. Um, oh, what? I, bright, shiny light, because there's one right there. <laughs> um, <laughs> Ignite. It brighter. Yeah. Are you going to Ignite? I am. I booked my... Well, I'm going to be in the city. I booked my airfare. I don't I know not, if I'm actually going to get in. I have not in. booked my airfare yet. But I, I will also be in Ignite. You will. So we have to start working now... Okay. ...to be able to try to get more involved somehow, whatever we do. <laughs> the last time... We should have a shadow conference during the conference. <laughs> do you want to not ever be invited back? <laughs> I just I, like to be my invited. guess is my guess is is Vivian would very quickly go. You're not coming yeah. now. That's if we good. did that, no, okay. I I will be there. Uh, I booked my flight. Okay, I don't know where I'm staying. Neither do I. I haven't uh, booked my flight either. So, so that's you need my, to book that's my task today is to book that. Um, there's there's yeah, a countdown there. timer that someone has that uh, yeah. the um is it Ledwig that set that up? I think Ledwig runs that. Yeah. Um. Yep. So anyway, typically, I should check that date, but it's coming up, so we should do it. And we end of September. We should probably start attending some meetings. There has to be meetings going on somewhere about Ignite. I don't know. So, so we should start attending some meetings. I have to actually be in town. Yeah. Well, I hope you guys have fun. What? You never know if you're going to go, do you? Yeah. It's an unknown question, man. It's, it's, that's what it's like to be in cert, uh, site reliability engineering. You have to make sure the sites are reliable. You don't get to go have fun. <laughs> you have to make everything reliable. Nice. So we're gonna we're gonna miss our, uh, our 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 main man J.K. Mr. Joe Kelly. Joe Kelly. He is uh, not going for the first time since two thousand and eight. However, he's going to be October festing in Munich. Can you blame him? No. No. Uh, no. Not at all. October festing in Munich. That's got to be fantastic for a beer lover like J.K. Is he's he's gonna have a good time. Oh, and Krista is obviously trying to get us to try to play hockey. Crystal, no. we don't play hockey because just the just the the, the indemnity <laughs> risk that's there. The insurance, the insurance rider is very high. It's for very me. high. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, and, and well, I, the problem is, is they usually play that game on the evening that that we have rehearsals. Yeah, when we do the big show. I don't know if we're doing the big show again. Well, I hope so. We have to attend meetings. Yeah, we, we do actually have to go to meetings. Yeah, so we should find out. Yeah. So stay tuned. Okay. We'll find out more info. So what were you going to say since I totally derailed you once again on something else? Oh, oh yeah, derailed. yeah. So I was talking about a random spend. A random spend. Uh, that there's, there's a PC that we have in our office that I think is circa 1987. Nice. 
Uh, it should be up on the wall behind it. <laughs> pretty much. And it's, it's used primarily for, for, for Minecraft, which is why it works just fine now. Um, what? Yeah. It's a Minecraft in your server. office. In, 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 well, in the other office, not my studio. My studio has the brand new machine that I built last oh, year. Well, I thought you were like home. building 26. Oh, no, 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 at home. <laughs> I'm at like, home. why would you have a Minecraft server and building 26? I thought it was the same thing. Like no, I run, a, I run a server in Azure. It's the actual yeah. PC that you play it on. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, now I'm catching up. Yeah. And so I've been looking. Do, do I go with just like a simple little i3, i5, just Dell thing? Do I buy a mini PC? Get a Nook. Get a Nook. Well, I've been looking at the Nooks, but by the time you add memory and, and a decent drive to them, you're up into the fives again. $500. What are you spending money on, Big Timer? No. Last time I got a Nook, it was like 350 with everything. It, no, not anymore because memory is okay. expensive again. Ugh. Yeah. Darn Bitcoin miners, I tell you. <laughs> well, and that's the other thing, too. Have you seen the cost of some of these video cards oh, lately? Insane, oh, man. my. I, I just bought one. It's, it's it's just... Literally, we're in, the, we're, in, we're in the moment right now where they actually do, like, news announcements. Yeah. That you know, Amazon's got the 1080 on sale for $20 off. Boom. Sold Instead it. of eight. Eight hundred ninety dollars. Yeah. It's eight hundred and seventy. No, it's crazy, man. For the twenty dollars, absolutely crazy. By the way, Tyler's got a good question. You guys rehearse? <laughs> <laughs> Not for this one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's, uh, when we when we do the in person uh, live shows, the big room just before the keynote, we it, do have to have some sort because. There's a lot of things that are going on at the time. I've got I've we're, got things in my ear and people talking to me. And we're 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 good, but everyone else around us that supports having that go on are yeah. freaked out <laughs> because we walk in five because minutes we before we give them a go. USB and go. This here's, is our sound. Here's our sound. Just play this and leave the mics hot and then go. And they just like, <laughs> what are you talking about? And it's like, the, well, the audio will automatically dip at the right time and I'll start talking. And so we have to usually run it several times so they go. Oh, okay, we got it. Yeah, we're yeah. good here. And then generally, once they buy into our craziness, they're happy and they're laid back and they actually enjoy the show as well, I think. <laughs> well, I, I <laughs> hope so. Yeah. I hope so. Um, and we got to start talking about guests. It, here's, the, here's the crazy thing. Have you seen, you've seen all the announcements of all the promotions lately. There's a trend here at the yeah. at the patch and switch program. Some of, a lot of our yeah. guests have been promoted lately. If you and get we a spot, not. if you if you if you if you get a spot on the patch and switch show, <laughs> the, the you likely, will get a promotion. <laughs> the likelihood of promotion. We've had people go up to. Can, can I get a guest spot? BPs? <laughs> no. Sorry, Steve. Uh, and beyond? I thought you fired Steve. Yeah. <laughs> no, Steve showed it's, up again. Oh, okay. So it's Jared insane. Left. It's insane. Uh, um, no, it is. We, we have we have a certain panache. That most people don't have with uh, the way that we handle the show, I guess. They, they get Are we so much take exposure. For this? They get so much exposure with the SLT. I bet you. I bet you the entire senior leadership team yeah, stop now. is watching this. Stop right now. now. <laughs> stop now. No, because if they were, yeah, we wouldn't be here. <laughs> All of a sudden, and fade to black. Exactly. <laughs> and that's another show. Uh, so what line was just authorized to shut down. Sorry, thing. what random spending have you been doing? Well, so that's what I was looking at. I'm looking random at random spend spending. Do, uh, do is i three good enough nowadays? Is the, the newer the new Pentiums because they've got those new Pentiums? It's all about the Pentiums, baby. Uh, that are out there that are really cheap, and they yeah. you know, I don't think I think an i five is overkill at this point for, for I just a little get away with an i three. Yeah, uh, what I did, uh, I got a Nook with an i3 for my mom, and it has 16 gigs of RAM, which is way more than what she needs. Oh, yeah. I was thinking maybe eight tops. Yeah. Well, at the time, I could get 16 for the price. dirt yeah. and a little two, 250 gig hard drive, or, and it was an M2 SSD. Yeah, th that's what I was looking at. Yeah, yeah. It, and it was like three fifty four hundred dollars $400. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it works perfect for her. She has it plugged into a monitor on her desk in her bedroom and the mo uh, monitor can be switched over to a TV. So she's like, yeah. can switch it between a TV and a monitor in her bedroom. So that works. Yeah. I have I not random spent. To, I'll continue to investigate. I have not random spent recently. I did. I did a I, big, I, did. Uh, I bought, I bought some frozen shake mix. <laughs> That's about it. Uh, I don't know oh, I we haven't, we haven't talked about this. What? So my, my latest round of spending is it's that time of year to get the boat ready. Ah, the boat. So uh, I, I, I do random spend quite significantly at the end of the season to get everything ready so that uh, when it's time, just kind of pull it out of the garage, run through everything, fire it up, make sure that, mm -hmm. you know, all the winterization gets, uh, gets removed, double check all the fluids and everything, and then throw it on the water. Well, this year for Mother's Day, 
we had an 80 plus degree yes, Fahrenheit day. Yeah, it was crazy. Which is what, 24, 25? Uh, 36, I think. 84 is 36, isn't it? No, 37 and a half is uh, body temperature. 37. Okay, so yeah, yeah it's, like it's hot. It's hot in Celsius. Anyway. Let's say 30. Let's say 30. It was easy, sure. it was easy 28. There we go. Okay. At any rate, uh, so this, this year, uh, pulled the boat out, pulled the boat out, attached the hoses, you know, to give the engine some water, started flushing it, turned it on. And then all of a sudden there was steam and I had never seen steam coming out of the engine before. And then, uh, some, some goop, brown goopy stuff coming out of, of the exhaust <laughs> liquid. So this is like and the so magic I'm smoke panic. equivalent. Well, I'm magic panicking at them. this point. Yeah. So I kill the engine. I'm like something's wrong. Uh, we uh, throw it onto the to the car. I call the the dealer and I'm like, hey, what? It's a Saturday. What time are you open till? Can I bring my boat down? I know it's going to be a few weeks, but again, this is very early May. The, the fact that we yeah. were even thinking of putting the boat on the water at Mother's Day is crazy yeah. for mm-hmm. Seattle. Yeah. Um. So I took the boat down to the dealership, and I've got to give a shout out to to, to Lake Union Sea Ray because I pulled up and and I go in, and the service guy is like, yeah, it's going to be at least three or four weeks because he's thinking I want to have the, the the service, the spring service, but right? I don't need that because I, I do it in the winter. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm like, yeah, but I, I, I had my boat serviced and, and, and I just had this thing and there was, there was an error because the, 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 the alarm went off. That's mm-hmm. why I powered everything Master off. Master alarm? Yeah. And so uh, one guy comes in. He's like, well, just pull it up here and we'll just connect it up and we'll start it. We'll see what's going on. And the next thing I know, there's, there's three other guys, <laughs> technicians. <laughs> one guy's got a laptop. He's got it plugged into my engine. They fire it up. They're running everything through. And they're like, yeah, it's just it's it, it's this new um, – because it, it didn't do it my first year that I owned mm-hmm. the after. It's, it's, it's infected with boat crypto wear. Well, no, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a new – apparently the, the new environmentally friendly eco uh, fogging is what they call it to keep the engine safe over the winter. And it just did its job, and it's broken down, and you need to just flush it through the system. But the, they're like, oh, so the alarm was your battery had run all the way down. <laughs> and I'm, I'm like, well, I know that, but I mean, I, because it, it, it had to sit when we were redoing the kitchen. Mm-hmm. My garage became a paint booth for the, the kitchen cabinet, so mm-hmm. okay. I had to have the boat parked outside and not connected to the battery charger, which is generally connected to the battery charger. Yeah, that's all that alarm was. I'm like... So nothing's wrong? No, no, no. Everything's good. You're, you're good to go. And I'm like, okay, well, what, what, what do I do? You guys should take a look. No, no, no. Go on, go on ahead. So I, I mean, I pulled up busy time of year because it's a nice yep. day. So everybody's pulling their boats out. And they're like, yeah, no, no just, just go on. So Nice. Th- fantastic. No kidding. Scared the ever-living bejesus out of me because I'm of like, course. oh, my gosh. <laughs> of course. Yeah, because I've got – I'm like, it's you know, boat stands for, for bring out another thousand, right? Yeah, totally. That's exactly what Crystal just said. <laughs> yeah, nice. Exactly. So that was good. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, and uh, prayer. Yes, uh, fresh hamsters to run the engine. Yep. Yep. Nice. Yep. New, new, new food. I got a new camera. What kind of camera did you get? Did you get one of the new Sony? No, I got a new. Uh, I bu- I bought a slightly used, very slightly used by a grandmother on the weekends. Uh, D five. <laughs> she only drove it to oh, church nice. on Sundays. Yeah, she only took pictures of church on Sundays. Sunday. Sunday. So uh, D five hundred, really good shape, really nice. I'm. Can't wait is that use. mirrorless or no? It's mirrored, oh, okay. but I mean, it's it's uh, yeah, that's a way nice higher end than my D five thousand. So, but it's only a five hundred. I know it, the, it, small, the smaller the, the number, the, bigger the better is. the ah, series. Okay, so yeah. like the D five is like the ultimate then. I guess. I no no the D two point five the D the D they just call it the D exactly. Oh, nice. No, I can't we wait. Should, to do. We should start to prep the audience because of the delay. That uh, you need to give us three work safe words. Yes. To be able to come up with the next show. Are we already at the time? We're we're literally with two minutes left before you wrap up. It's been a long time since we've it caught is. up with the audience. I know, and and uh, we're rusty on our format of the show, and we have so much stuff to talk about that we didn't have enough time to talk. Plus, we also started ten minutes late. But uh, three short work safe words help us name the show. The, today's show was called something something Pinto something. Breakfast Segments. Pinto Breakfast Segments. Because in the last show we were talking about the Pinto. The old Pinto automobiles? Yes. yes. Yeah. That exploded if they were involved in an accident? <laughs> yes. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. The, so other, the other small piece I've come to realize over the past couple of days, the other piece of uh, buying that I have to do is I've got to buy a new cloud key. Mine burnt up. The Ubiquities? Yeah. The Ubiquities, did the Magic Smoke get released or what? Yes. Oh, that's never good. How and did that are, happen? And the support team's all, hey, yeah, we can replace that. RMA is like, no. 
You it's are pa- one two year- days past warranty. <laughs> you cannot return. <laughs> cannot pass. Uh, Vizio VP guy says moose, moose as one of the words. That's a good one. Always good. We but can is quickly it, is do... it moose spelled like the animal or like the French? Uh, oh, dessert. dessert beverage thing. Isn't that spelled the beverage? same way? He's, he spelled oh. it like the animal. Okay. Um, so quickly on beer talk, because I have to say. Okay, we got to talk about beer? Just to talk about beer. You don't I, drink beer anymore. I need to brew. I've got no you beer left. You don't drink anymore. You don't drink beer anymore. I need to brew because there's no beer left. So when I'm done doing this thing, I'll be able to drink. And trust me, I'm going to be drinking. Uh, so I need to have my taps <laughs> full back up again. Uh, but um, the Brewers competition, we haven't even talked about that because we were talking about leading up to it. I was doing an English ale with ginger for that particular competition. Neither of these two gentlemen decided to show up to vote. Thank you very much because I came in fourth place with that um, ginger beer. Excuse me. You scheduled it when I was out of town. I, I, didn't, I couldn't schedule it. Yes, you did. Fourth place. Congratulations. And if you both were there, I was the difference of only nine votes to become third. I well, think we have our title, Moose. <laughs> moose, <laughs> what is it there? Moose mm. boat, horrible diet. Yeah, and horrible <laughs> diet being hyphenated, so you it's got one it. word. Nice, you got yeah, it. that can work. Uh, and so it is. So, but the thing is, is that we, you still would have been short. Nine votes, you get yeah. ten each. Right, ten each. So you think I'm, put, I'm giving you all of the votes. Oh, nice. Yeah. thanks, guys. Yeah, not gonna happen. Yeah. Anyway, in fact, I'd probably vote for I somebody still, else. I, oh, even better. <laughs> so I have some left. So you have to come over and try it. Okay. okay. It's in my keg. It's, uh, That's fine. It's on the side. But yeah, I'm literally on the dregs of whatever's left inside my thing, and it's getting else. getting old. Gotcha. Getting old. Trying to figure out how to do a quick uh, orchestra boot up right now. The orchestra actually happens to be booting off of a um, eight and a, eight and a half inch floppy up there. I think. <laughs> well, I, I don't understand how it how it is that the music is or that the the show was playing in the background and. I had no, a muted, so oh, there it is. We're back. Uh, and with that, we've come to the conclusion of another <laughs> exciting episode of the Patch and Switch program. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Uh, and I'm going to try to do this by memory, so I'm probably going to miss somebody. Good luck. But we've got all the Chucks, because there are multiple <laughs> Chucks. Multiple Chucks. We've got Steve, uh, Vizio MVP guy. Uh, Crystal. JK, Crystal, Super Crystal. Uh, Frederick was joined us. A couple of Johns. Co- Colleen, who needs to do some stuff. Uh, a couple of Johns. There are multiple There's Johns. John Marshall, John yeah. Lund. Uh, yep. Pierre, Pierre Steve. Roman has joined yeah. us. Uh, the, the, the Frederick, Frederick, I said that. Bork, bork, bork. Some Steve, <laughs> Merlin, Merlin. Oh yes, Merlin. Hello, uh, and everybody, else. and everybody else. The, the, the reality is, is, I'm supposed to have a list, but yeah, it didn't work. Anyway, until next time, have a weekend, everybody. <laughs>